Now at the maiden edition of the African Freestyle Football Championship in 2018, Nigeria's Super Falcon star Rashida Tajibade emerged as the women's champion. And in the 2019 category, the story changed. Another Nigerian, Evelyn Okafor, was crowned the queen of African women's freestyle football. Now this year, uh, it's, it's gone all virtual and the competition has been intense as uh, we wind down to the last day of the championship. Now, we are down to the top four finalists. We have Lubna Omar from Sudan. There's Yasmin Rice from Morocco. There's Fatima Ezara from Akif from Morocco. And the defending champion, Evelyn Okafo. And in the men's category, we have Titi Kone, who reigned for two years in a row as a king of African freestyle football. He will not be in the finals this time, as the other contenders came really hard. Uh, we have Mohanad Hossam Ali from Egypt. There's also Ayub who was from Tunisia, there's Youssef Ayman from Egypt, and of course there's Samer Sa Saidi from Algeria. Now, who will be taking over Titi Kone's throne? We do not know. Who goes on with the $1,000? Uh, that's the grand prize. I also do not know. It all goes down on Sunday, the 2nd of August, as we find out who emerges as queen and king of African freestyle football. 6 p.m. Nigerian time. Follow at Fit and Tricks on Instagram, and also follow Plus TV Africa for more on this. Interesting right there from the freestyle. I was talking about the contenders for Freestyle Unlocked Africa 2020. Now to talk more on this, we have Oraka Nanyelu, uh, the project director for Freestyle Unlocked Africa, joining us this morning via Zoom. Good to have you with us, Oraka. Great to be here. Thanks. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, it's been about a month of uh, freestyle football, enjoying the very best of it. I mean, how has the competition been so far? I'm sure it has been a whole lot of excitement for you guys and stress as well. Yes, it's been, you, you got the right two, the two right words, um, stressful and fun at the same time because it's a brand new experience. I mean, um, shout out to the vision of our chairman who decided that the COVID-19 is not going to be an excuse not to have the 2020 edition. So we had to find ways to bring the competition online. And it's the first time we're doing this. So it's been a lot of challenges. It's been a lot of surprises. And awesomely to note that the outcome has been very, very great and positive. So, I mean, uh, we're, we're loving it. We're loving it. Yeah, I mean, this is the first virtual competition and championship, like you rightly put it. Uh, we would like to know a bit of the challenges. I know there will be a lot of technicalities trying to get, because this is not just happening in one spot. It's happening across Africa. Mm -hmm. take, take us through some of those challenges you guys went through. Okay, the first major challenge, as usual, as you're in Africa, is internet, right? So, and since this is online based, it's heavily dependent on internet. So, um, sometimes getting communication across to other um, content uh, contestants, the freestylers, has been challenging. But thanks to uh, platforms like Plus TV Africa, who has been helping us disseminate this information. But coming down to the contest, you see um, a lot of challenges like giving the freestylers usually ask for a lot of time to be able to submit their entries, make their videos because of their daily lives. Unlike when we pull them together for the contest, 
if you give them uh, the platform to do it on the stage, they'll get it on the spot. But now we have to give them as much as 48 hours, 50 hours sometimes to submit their entries for their rounds. And it's been very challenging. You have all of those entries from multiple um, countries and you have to download all of them. You have to submit all of, upload and submit to the judges. It's, it's been hectic, but it's been fun, like I said earlier. Yeah, you know, uh, watching the freestylers, I've seen about two editions now, and it's been quite interesting. And you know how Nigerians can be. Uh, most times when we get to see our Nigerian contenders win or some, some sort of it, uh, most people get to think that it, there's a bit of bias in selecting Nigerian winners. But this time around, uh, for the female finals, we have only one Nigerian who is the defending champion, talking about Evelyn Okafor. And in the male category, there is no Nigerian. I mean, I was expecting to see the likes of um, Akabude, um, also Benjamin, I mean, making it to this one. Even the defending champions, Titi Kone, has been um, displaced. Talking about he, he will not get to retain or, or challenge to um, retain his crown this year. Does this mean that it's more competitive? Most definitely. Most definitely, it is more competitive. So what we noticed, or what I noticed personally, is the fact that this online contest actually gave the opportunity to reach out to more freestylers who have not had the opportunity to be part of the physical events, maybe because of financial constraints or, or, or whatever. So, I mean, this went out to the grassroots. So you have all of them coming out from wherever they are. <laughs> Everybody, all the bad guys, like I like to call them, they've all been, you know, it's been everywhere. That's why it's been very, very, very competitive because there are no limitations. Like we always say, all you need is a ball. And most of these guys naturally make these videos for their Instagram pages and social media. So all they have to do is make those same videos and submit to be a part of the contest. So we had a lot of new entries. We had a lot of new contenders that we didn't know about. And uh, it's been very challenging. Like you, like you saw, um, you also mentioned no Nigerian in the finals. Believe me, that's also part of the reasons. And... Um, this is in partnership with the world body, the WFFA. Yeah. So most of the decision making, in fact, when it comes to the judging and all of that, it is left to the WFFA. And this time around, we also have judges from five different continents. We have a judge from Asia. We have a judge from the US. We have we have judges from five different countries. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon. And um, it's been it's been it's been very 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 engaging. It's been very engaging because you cannot. Inf definitely cannot influence them and they know the technicalities they're actually looking out for. So it is beyond what you think is good. It's about what makes actually the freestyle football, the skills to look out for. So that's what we have. We have quality. And that just leaves me to wonder what the finals is going to be. Exactly. Now, talking about the judges, now they, I, I, I must say they have been absolutely amazing. But do you think the fans are satisfied with the judgments and the picks so far? For me, I am satisfied. Okay. For, for that, you'd, um, I would say it's, it's the 95%. Of course, it's never 100%. Um, the, best, the best way to you know, con console yourself when you are dropped. Or the best way most people console themselves is to say, oh, there was, fair on, um, there was no fair play somewhere. Oh, yeah. But to a large extent, it's been very, very clear, free and fair. And everybody has actually confessed to it. I mean, even the, the current champion, City Kone, made a post to say, oh, big shout out to everybody and congratulations to those that made, made it to the finals. Mm -hmm. uh, the Nigerian winners also, and the, the, everybody knows that this is very, very clear and neat. And I mean, there are no foul plays. So 95%, I mean, we've not had unusual complaints of, you know, it's not being fair and all. So I would say 95% has been great. Mm, nice. Uh, now, as we look forward to the African Championship Finals, what should we expect as fans and also the organizers? All right, great. So just like the um, freestylers, a lot of them could not participate because of location. I mean, that's one of the things we've knocked off. Now, no matter where you are, you, you can join us because we, we're going to be streaming live. Um, I mean, our, our partners such as Plus TV is also going to be helping us rebroadcast this so everybody can see this. And in terms of expectations, expect the four best freestylers on both the male and female in the continent I'm talking about the first best, best men freestylers and the first best female 
freestylers are going to be going head to head online live like they are not sending in videos this time around yeah. they are going to be live they are going to be doing their tricks live we're going to be switching them live the judges are going to be judging them all in real time it's going to be very very fun and definitely we have some very very amazing and surprising performances you know that is going to spice up the event and of course something for the viewers you're not just going to come and watch you know, there'll be a lot of things that you can win yeah. so my advice don't miss this exactly Do don't not miss, miss this, this one you know <laughs> Uh, talking about the performance and, uh, of course, the live um, stream and all that, I mean, I, I saw videos of Pokoli, and last time we saw Pokoli and Shady um, MC in the event. How has the team been able to put this all together, having um, the MCs um, anchor the events, the freestylers doing their thing, and also the viewers? And I didn't really see any technical hitch. The network didn't really break so much. How were you able to achieve this? Okay, so at the, at the start of this um, conversation, I said I gave, I gave a big shout out to the chairman, Mr. Valentino. He's someone that doesn't take no for an answer. As long as he, he, he thinks it's possible, he's going to go to the ends of the earth to make it possible. So, I mean, I, for one, was one of the people that thought, can we achieve this? But by the time he started reaching out, he got together the best of the best of teams. And um, I even took up a role that I, I didn't know I was ready for. And uh, but he saw that we all had this in us, and here we are today. We have the best of the tech guys working our tech units. We have the the best of uh, everybody like playing their roles. Everybody playing their roles individually and coming together, synchronizing as a team. And um, we had the Nigerian Championship last Saturday, and for us that was even more of a learning curve. So the few of the errors which nobody out there noticed in terms of um, tech or preparations or things that we didn't get right. Now we have the opportunity to get them right. So um, I'll, I'll give the kudos back to the chairman because it was left for a lot of us. We might have just tried to wait the COVID um, lockdown out. But here we are. Um, that's uh, pure leadership for you. And I appreciate him because I feel honored to be a part of this project right now. Nice, nice, uh, nice words for Valentine Ozik. We're talking about the chairman of Feet and Tricks. Now, let me talk to you personally now. Yes, you get to, you're the, you're the director of this um, championship, but can you even juggle the ball to save your life? <laughs> well, it depends. <laughs> if you say to save my life, yo, I, I mean, we all grew up <laughs> raising balls. So I'm going to raise from one to 100. Yeah. But if they expect me to roll a ball on my head, I'm sorry, <laughs> you're on your own. You might as well just shoot me. <laughs> I mean, look, look so at So I that. cannot, I cannot juggle a ball to save my life. Mm. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, take us through what the winners stand to gain at the end, because I hear the prizes are quite mount watery. Uh, last year, I saw um, car prizes. There's also furniture prizes. But I'm sure it would have improved this year. Okay, uh, first off, I, I think most times when we talk prizes, people first go to the money. The but money. we forget that the bragging rights is one of the biggest things, right? Yeah. Because those bragging rights actually attract a lot of things, attract endorsements, attract vi brand visibility and viability. It attracts a lot. So the first major prize, as far as I'm concerned, is the ranking. Because like I said, it's in partnership with the WFFA. So the players are going to be ranked you know, according to their performances in this contest. And this is a worldwide ranking, not just an African ranking. So they are going to be ranked in Africa and they're also going to be ranked worldwide. And of course, um, for those that are not interested in that, that want to hear the financial, you know, <laughs> aspect of it, I want to tell you that it's also very, very juicy, right? Uh, so we have, yes, we have the top four going into the finals, but our chairman has been generous enough to reward the top five, Wow! right? So from first to fifth, from each category is going to be going up home with a lot of money. And I'm talking from $150 to $1,000. Wow. That's what I'm talking. So um, the fifth position is going home with $150. The fourth position, $250. The third position, $500. The, the second position, $750. And the first position is going home with a thousand dollars, and that's just for the male con um, side of it. And the female side is also the same thing. So, if you pull all of those sums together, we're talking about five thousand three hundred dollars amount going 
cash going away to this contestants or bar transfer or whatever yeah. but i mean a, a whooping sum of five thousand three hundred dollars going out wow that's quite interesting and uh, uh, this has actually given me that motivation to join the competition next year so i'll be bringing up my own believe me i'm behind you know <laughs> we have to, we have to win the prize <laughs> but then once again i'd like to thank you very much yeah kickoff time is 6 p.m on sunday and we're going live exactly yes. at 6 p.m is there any going to be are we going to be having side uh, side attractions Yes, definitely. I mentioned that before. Of course, like you know, Coco Lee is our host, so that alone is a side attraction. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, like I said, there's going to be a lot of performances that are going to be synchronized into this. Um, the, the contest itself is a side attraction because it's fun. Even if you're not pulling the, the competition for what it is, mm -hmm. it is fun to watch. Uh, we're going to be having musical performances. We're going to be having a magician on set. I mean, you're making me unveil, uh, unveil a lot <laughs> that I don't want to, but there's going to be a lot of side performances. Mm. There's going to be side attractions. And like I said, also for the viewers, there's going to be a lot of giveaways that they can take advantage of. Mm. All right. Thank you very much once again, Oraka, for speaking with us. Thank you for having and always supporting us. Yeah. Thank you very much. We look forward to an amazing final and please continue to stay out, stay safe out there. All right, talking about freestyle football, you've heard it all. Uh, the, grand, the grand prize will be $1,000 for both male and female. And from the fifth position, that the fifth, fifth position will get $150. The fourth position gets $200. The third position gets $500. The second position gets $750. And the grand prize, $1,000. A lot of money will be given out in this one. Once again, uh, for the male category, we see the likes of uh, Youssef Ayman from Egypt. There's also Samir Sa Saidi from Algeria, there's Mohammed Huas from uh, Huas Ali from Egypt, and there's Ayub uh, from Tunisia. And for the female category, we see the likes of Yasmin Rice from Morocco. There is uh, Lubna Omar from Sudan. There is uh, Fatima Ezara from uh, Akif, and of course. Uh, Evelyn or Kafo. This is our Nigerian contender and also the defending champion. And I hope that she can get to defend the title she won last year. Talking about being the queen of freestyle football. Rashida Tajibade won it in 2018. Evelyn Okafo won it in 2019. I hope another Nigerian still talking about Evelyn Okafo can get to defend that title this year. It will be very, very tough, but I know she has what it takes. And Titi Kone won it two times in a row, 2018 and 2019. And 2020, he lost out. And uh, he also admitted that the competition was intense and uh, the winner would definitely be um, uh, a worthy winner and a worthy replacement for TT Conan. Let's see a little bit more on freestyle football and when we come back we'll be going deep into uh, the proper football talking about the FA Cup final between Arsenal and Chelsea. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Well, the best of freestyle football right there. And I, I promise you, I can't even juggle the ball. But I try my best when it comes to basketball. But when it comes to freestyle football, count me out. But when it comes to talking about it, yes, we'll surely be here to talk about the best of freestyle football. Remember, the final goes down on Sunday, 6 p.m. to be precise, Nigerian time. And uh, we'll get to see the very best of freestyling right there for the male and female category. And remember, the grand prize for the winner will be $1,000 for male and female. But there will be prizes from number one to number five.